Felicity Huffman walked out of court late Friday, but within the next six weeks, she'll need to walk into a federal prison. With husband and actor William H. Macy by her side, the former Oscar nominee will now have to spend 14 days behind bars. In court, the prosecutor said there is no excuse for what she did. Parenthood does not make you a felon or a cheat. Noting the celebrity's fame and wealth, the prosecutor hammered home, there's no paparazzi in prison. Prison is the great equalizer. Huffman, who pleaded guilty to paying $15,000 to rig her daughter's SAT score, said all along she was ready for the judge's decision, though asked for leniency before sentencing. I was frightened, I was stupid, and I was so wrong. The judge noted Huffman's early admission of guilt, but added she knew what she was doing was wrong, a fraud. The ruling? 14 days in prison, $30,000 fine, one year supervised release, and 250 hours of community service. After her sentencing on social media, both support and outrage, the actress didn't get more prison time. Watching the outcome closely, other parents arrested in the pay-to-play college entrance scandal, like fellow actress Lori Loughlin, who has pleaded not guilty and faces more serious charges as she moves towards trial. Huffman sentencing perhaps a signal. Time behind bars is a real possibility. Today, Felicity Huffman's high-stakes court drama is over, but soon prison time will begin. Huffman's attorney asked that the actress be able to report to federal prison in Dublin, California. It's just a few hours away from her home in the Hollywood Hills. They say she'll be treated like any other prisoner while there. And after her release, Huffman will need to begin her community service, guys. All right, Miguel, thank you. Now let's bring in criminal defense attorney and NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's dig in here. Were you surprised by this sentence? I can't believe these words are going to come out of my mouth, but I thought this 14-day sentence was too harsh. You thought it was too harsh. I thought, and that's not my moral judgment on what Huffman did. It's by the numbers. Okay. She should have gotten a probation only sentence by the numbers. And the reason for that is another defendant, the Stanford sailing coach, mm -hmm. had a recommended sentence of 13 months. He will serve no time behind bars. So mm -hmm. the recommended sentence of one month, uh, zero months would have been within the sentencing guidelines. She should have, for consistency, gotten a zero month sentence behind bars bars. So I was surprised. But in the grand scheme of things, especially in the harsh world of federal sentencing, yeah. this was overall a lenient sentence. So if this was, in your eyes, a bit too harsh, she spent infinitely less than Lori Lachlan spent. What impact does this have on Lachlan's case? And if you're advising Lachlan today as a defendant, what are you telling her? In a sense, Huffman's sentence has very little to do with Lori Loughlin's case because Lori Loughlin's case is much more serious than Huffman's. She's been charged additionally with money laundering and she's elected to go to trial. And when you do that in the federal system, you lose the opportunity to accept responsibility and get the bonus points towards a reduction in sentence. Hmm. No matter what, if Lori Loughlin is convicted, it is almost a certainty that she will do significant prison time, more than 14 days. There are some people who have been wondering, we see these pictures of Felicity, why hasn't William H. Macy uh, been charged? I expect this was the source of much debate among federal prosecutors behind doors. On the one hand, there are allegations that William H. Macy appeared in phone conversations talking about having two days for his daughter to take the SAT. So in a sense, he appears to be involved. But on the other hand, Mere presence and mere knowledge of a crime is not itself a crime. So I expect the prosecutors agonized over this because it is a very fine line between being merely present at a crime and actually agreeing and participating in it. It's certainly a hot topic. I was we'll going to say, a lot of folks paying attention. Danny, thanks for helping Thank us out. You. Thank you. Nice to see you.